Thanks. Welcome everyone to the November 7, 2012 Town Council Business Meeting. We'll begin as always with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, we will begin this evening with a public forum on non-agenda items only. We'll open public forum at 7.03. Uh, Councilor Branch. Um, motion to seal the non-public minutes. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? Mr. Minister, is he on the vote? Council Wright? Aye. Council Levy? Aye. Council Branch? Aye. Council Zink? Aye. Council Carmichael? Aye. Council Bentley? Aye. Council Nazaro? Press 7-0. Continuing with the public forum once, twice. Sold. Uh, Close public forum at 7.04. Next item on the agenda is public hearing on resolution 2012-13-19, final closure of the Wadley Falls sewer and pump station. Um, town of Newmarket, New Hampshire by the Town Council, resolution 2012-2013-19, relating to final closure of the Wadley Falls sewers and pump station project, whereas the town of Newmarket obtained a state aid grant to fund a sewer and pump station project for the Wadley Falls road area, and whereas the town accounted for the project in Fund 49, which carries a fund balance deficit of $37,934.53 as of August 31st, 2012. <clears throat> and whereas a review of Fund 49 expenditures reveal, revealed identified invoices only for the Wadley Falls pump structure and sewer improvements. And whereas town meeting created the sewer capital reserve fund for improvements to the town's wastewater infrastructure where and whereas the sewer capital reserve fund has a balance of $673,875 as of September 20th, 2012. Now therefore be it resolved that the town of Newmark that the Newmarket Town Council does hereby approve a transfer from the sewer capital reserve fund not to exceed $37,934.53 for the purpose of funding the final portion of the Wadley Falls sewers and pump station project. Introduction date, October 3rd, 2012. Public hearing, November 7th, 2012. Final action by the council, essentially November 7th, 2012. Open public hearing at 7.05. Anyone? I will close the public hearing at 7.05. Councilor Branch. I'd like to make a motion to adopt resolution 2012-2013-19 relating to final closure of the Waterley Falls sewer and pump station project. Second. Motion and a second. Discussion. Seeing no discussion, Mr. Minister of the vote. Councilor Wright? Aye. Councilor Levy? Aye. Councilor Branch? Aye. Councilor Zink? Aye. Councilor Carmichael? Aye. Councilor Bentley? Aye. Council Nazaro. Aye. Motion passes 7 to 0. Next item on the agenda is approval of minutes from the October 14th, I'm sorry, excuse me, the October 17th meeting and the non public minutes from the October 17th meeting. Councilor, I will entertain a motion. Uh, Councilor Branch. Motion to approve the October 17th, 2012 workshop minutes as written. Second. Motion and a second. Discussion. <clears throat> Try not to look over at Councilor Levy, but I know you usually have. <laughs> <laughs> Minutes for fine. I Great. Uh, seeing no discussion, Mr. Minister of the vote. Councilor Wright? Aye. Councilor Levy? Aye. Councilor Branch? Aye. Councilor Zink? Aye. Councilor Carmichael? Aye. Councilor Bentley? Aye. Councilor Nazaro? Aye. Motion passes 7 to 0. I'll entertain a motion on the non public minutes. Councilor Branch? Aye. Motion to approve the non public minutes from October 17, 2012, as written. Second. Motion to second. It was the envelope that everyone had in their box. This is just a, um, if we're gonna talk about non-public minutes. Can't talk about them, I was gonna say I have some changes so I can't, Okay. that's why I'm gonna vote no, but my button's not working anyway. Okay, other button busted. I think the whole thing is down. Critical we're, structure we're, failure We're trying in. to get the company out here to fix it. If not, okay. we're searching at new units. Okay. Um, Soup cans. And yeah. So if, if 
there are things that we want to talk about in the minutes. What will we can go to non public at the end of this, or do we have to have a, a minor? All right, we'll go to non public at the end of this meeting. Then, any will you withdraw your motion? Yes, I will draw the motion. Thank you. Thank you. Next item on the agenda mm -hmm. is town administrator report, Mr. Administrator. Thank you, Mr. Chair. You have my written report. Um, is there any question on that? In addition, I just want to make a few comments that were not on my written report. First, I'd ask that you know the election was yesterday. Uh, candidates remind them that take down the signs so we can make sure we especially. I, hopefully, if somebody's watching it live before, if it snows tonight, if we have to plow, uh, it'll just make a, a larger mess. So I just ask people to remove the signs. And I just want to take this opportunity to really commend the uh, efforts of the entire staff on the the work they did yesterday during the election. There was record turnout, and we had uh, it really moved smoothly every time I went over there to to watch and to uh, help out that much as I could and I heard that I've got a number of compliments for the town clerk and her staff so I just wanted to publicly commend everybody and all the volunteers who worked all day and from what I understand into the night uh, counting the ballots and also I, I think we also need to make sure we acknowledge the people who set it up and uh, spend a great amount of time making sure everything's set up beforehand so you're not running into problems. So I just want to make you say that publicly. Uh, would you like me to go to the PowerPoint or do you just want me to give updates on the goals? Um, you mean physically display yeah. it? Or it's up to you. Counselors, what do you think? I, for the people at home, it may, be, it may benefit to have it. If okay. it's loaded up already. It's, it's not. not. It's not? No. Go ahead, Kessler. Well, I was just going to say there's like four or five items you could probably just yeah. Yeah. synopsize them. Just um, in the future, let's move. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. I, I, what I think I may do in the future is actually move this not from this session, mm -hmm. but to the workshop sessions. Okay. That way it, it will cut down on the time for the business meetings. Yep. So just some of the um, items that we've up, just updated on the goals. Uh, I, I, the last business meeting I gave a number of uh, action items. First re re was to revise town council rules and the council did that on the third. Uh, review and update the town municipal code. Uh, committee has been formed of the town clerk, the administrative assistant, the planner, the chief of police and myself to review ordinances to find out what we're missing and what needs to be updated or um, repealed if it's no longer uh, applicable. We're securing codes, codes, quotes for what the cost may be to have a company codify our ordinance book uh, if that doesn't go through, if it's uh, cost prohibitive, uh, one of the ideas also would be look at a UNH master student, uh, grad student, to assist with that via an internship. But I have to see if what's available right now through that. Uh, next one would be ri revising the administrative code. I've got the first draft completed. What I'm doing now is sort of an internal review of current town department structure to see what's best, um, to make sure we're responding quickly and how we're functioning effectively and we're reviewing this as part of the update of the municipal code so instead of having that may be added on when you have to recodify everything the review of the town charter for inconsistencies um, on the agenda tonight there's a resolution to uh, <coughs> create a charter commission because I think that would be something that the, the council may want to consider and adopt new operating procedures we're continuously doing that um, and we'll be having more uh, structured ones for the council's review as amending policies and ordinances. The next would be improving the finance of the town. Action items review, rewrite the chart of accounts to reflect common operating procedures. Currently being completed as part of the budget process and we're estimating a January completion timeline. The purchasing code, rewrite the first drafts completed and we're revising that with finance. Review personnel policies and pre present re revisions. We haven't started that yet. Uh, revised fund balance policy, um, we uh, ex completed that on the 17th, and just regular financial reporting is part is ongoing. We just want to make sure that you have that in there. Improve communications. Update website to be more user friendly. Uh, IT is actually working on a website <coughs> to be designed as we discussed at the last meeting. Embrace social media. That um, came as part of an emergency, actually. During the flood, uh, not the floods, the um, Hurricane Sandy, we established a town Facebook and Twitter presence, and we gave updates on that throughout the storm. 
as well as sending out email blasts of uh, information. We actually already have about almost 700 people signed up for the email blasts and we're actually going to be reviewing a different company to provide it to make it more user friendly and actually and easier f on our side to send those out. <coughs> Another idea that we're going to look at is probably having all agendas sent out. So if you can subscribe to agenda list, say if you want to <coughs> know every planning board meeting or what's going on, you can subscribe to that and when that's ready, it'd be sent out to you. And uh, same for the council. Council agenda is done, we can send you that so you can see what's on there. And we're still looking at the quarterly newsletter for a hard copy for the, uh, to be mailed out. Uh, we just want to determine whether it's, if it's cost effective, do it in house or outside and making sure we'd have the right information in there. Because uh, one thing I've found is that a lot of communities, while they have it, they've been doing, they uh, contract it out for cost, because it's cost effective and you don't have an employee spending days at a time trying to get that uh, pulled together. So that's something else we're going to be looking at, see if we can do that in our budget. <coughs> economic development, um, we're scheduling shortly the meeting of the Economic Development Committee. I will be meeting with the chair of the planning board on Friday to discuss that. I actually met with the um, NCDC on Monday night to sort of get an idea of what their goals are and what their procedures and uh, uh, charges and We'll be moving on that shortly. So that is where we are, just for an update on those items. Any questions to the administrator? Just a quick one uh, with respect to the uh, newsletter. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I don't know how expensive it might get to uh, mail one out, but I was thinking it might make more sense to do it via the internet. And then if anybody would like a hard copy we could you know I'm, I'm assuming it's not going to be multiple pages to you know like 20 or 30 pages right. so if anybody absolutely doesn't have a computer and they wanted <clears throat> a copy of it we could print it out here at the office but I think it might get a little expensive mailing it and printing it frankly yeah and that's something that we I thought that's how we would start but I know every time I, I I hear about like trying to make it go all digital. You hear a number of individuals say they don't have computers and they can't get that, but so they could request it, right? Yeah. Anyway, it's my thought. Councillor Bethel, just to jump, <coughs> add on what Council Levy said, we had spoken. It might have even been two years ago now about other venues, and one was like, you know, to the same point, do it the cheaper way with this, and then maybe you leave twenty at the library and twenty with the school, or twenty, you know, at places, common places to um, help get it out. So. <coughs> Councillor Zink. Just a, a reminder, and I think we brought, I brought it up a couple times, but we've had some <clears throat> citizens that have offered to participate in this who are professionals in the field of communications. And I would hope that um, we would reach out to them for two reasons. Number one, they're the customer. Yep. Uh, and number two, I do know uh, several people who, um, as they say, are professionals in this field and would like to help. If you could share those names with me, send me an email. I I don't have those names, okay. so I appreciate that. Okay, Thanks. glad to. Yep. The one I can think of just off the top of my mind is Tony Weinstein, okay. who has asked, who's presented it repeatedly. I think there's also some people out at Moody Point, I think, that do public relations work that have mentioned it to me, okay. so I will get those to you. <clears throat> and one other quickie. That's um, uh, with respect to the economic development, um, I guess my question was on the last bullet point, um, what is meant by begin to advertise the benefits? <coughs> you know, in other words, I was trying to... Yeah, that was what, actually... What, what does that I'm, mean? Yeah, well, that was one of my goals, but I think I would actually probably change that is sort of to determine what do we want to do versus that. I, at one point in time, it was sort of the thought of um, doing some PR about why new markets attractive community to locate their business and to do some PR about the business that are already here uh, but I think before we do that we need to do the other ones before to make sure you know are we what developments correct so we're advertising towards them you know my thought was if we wanted to do something of that nature it would probably be something that would be discussed within the economic development and then based on that and what feedback we get from the um, um, 
constituents when you know if there are charrettes or whatever then then we could you know but I don't know how you know what you were thinking when you said advertise yeah I, I think <coughs> I, it's you're correct it's just to try to get that out there as the okay yeah. got it um, two things one the uh, newsletter since we did just go through the budgeting session <laughs> the sessions and we really didn't put anything in there for budgeting for the newsletter it seems like we don't haven't resourced something that we said we might do so it, it does lend credence to the minimize via in-house yeah. and have people opt in or some form of public place where we would leave it for hard copies yep. I, I we certainly do want to ensure that we're not being biased to individuals that don't have computers absolutely or access to the internet so we have to make it available but finding a cost-effective way I completely agree with vice chair Bailey and Councilor Levy on that the other is sort of a, it's an activity that would, to me, hit both economic development and getting the basics right. And I think we're at, like, at a good place to be doing this. Okay. Looking at, as we're going through our ordinances, really inventorying, our ordin inventorying the ordinances for what, the, what may actually be preventing positive business growth within this community. Do we have laws in place across, inside Newmarket that are actually stymieing development? And I'm not saying allowing anything to come in. We certainly obviously have to ensure that it fits within the character <coughs> of the community. But are, are we, via the ordinances we put in place, actually hurting ourselves more than we're helping ourselves? I think it's, it's an appropriate conversation to be had by this body and by the planning board. Those are my comments. Any other comments for the Mr. Administrator? Answers the same. I just, uh, I, I hope the, um, an editorial comment. I hope the community will hold us accountable for these. I think off, too often these kind of pass pass through, uh, but they're ones we spend an awful lot of time trying to focus on. And I hope as we have public sessions, people will come forward and say, well, what are you doing about communications and what are you doing about economic development? Thank you. Administrator, the rest of your report. Anything else to yeah. highlight? No, yep. that was really it. All right. Next item on the agenda: old business. <coughs> there are many old businesses. Um, are we going to give some context around the next set of resolutions yes, that are going to look incredibly <laughs> familiar to people from last March? Yes. Do you want me to give the context? Or um, <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for direction from the chair. Um, so there's a series of resolutions that we are about to read that involve establishing a water surplus capital reserve fund, transferring money from the water fund that is surplus in the water fund into the surplus water capital reserve fund, and then transferring that from the water surplus capital reserve fund to the general fund. And later on down the road tonight, I don't think it's immediately following, you will see one that is to use excess monies within the general fund to reduce the tax rate. The, this is going to seem, as, as I said before, similar to the process that we had discussed in March. Uh, this goes back to the usage of general fund dollars to, spend, to cover the cost of capital improvements to our water and sewer during the downtown project. The uh, difference between today and the last time we had this conversation is that the water fund had found, uh, the acting finance director had found an additional $500,000 that had been mispropriated. 580 in the CIP. 580 in the CIP that had not been accounted for as he was cleaning up our books. And so that significantly, significantly overfunded the water fund to a place that is well beyond the operating budget that um, the CHAM would need to keep, to keep water going and, and allow for normal improvements. So, again, following the logic that we had last March, but now with a significantly more larger amount in the water fund, we can reach a place where, because one of these actually requires a unanimous council vote, where we can agree that, that this money is beyond what is required in the water, in the water fund, that there, we all agree that there is some work that happened downtown that was water infrastructure and sewer infrastructure improvements, so it makes sense that some, some money goes towards that. And the rest of that money, can, or a portion of that money then can therefore go to help reduce the tax rates, which I think I know everyone up here agrees is a good thing. 
So, um, do you have anything to add, Mr. Administrator? But more procedurally. Okay. You'll need to suspend the rules to act on 6A, B, and C, which are the three resolutions that are uh, regarding this because the council rules require all resolutions to have a first and second reading, which would be two different meetings. Uh, in addition, the first resolution, number 2012-2013-30, which establishes the Water Surplus Capital Reserve Fund, requires a unanimous vote of the council. If that does not pass, then the other two are moot. Um, so, I'll have discussion right now on all of this, if anyone has any points they want to bring out on all of this, and then we'll go into to the motions. Council Levy. I had a couple of questions. I just have to find it, because it sort of, let me just pull up the comments. I think, I think you want to transfer, um, bear with me a second, 204,000, is that correct? That's correct. So, just to sort of lay it out, because mm -hmm. I can't remember all the numbers, so maybe Matt can help fill them in if, if I'm way off. When we originally had this discussion, there was about there was about nine hundred and sixty thousand dollars in the water fund, which is what we we understood. In the water CIP, there was around three hundred and sixty thousand. Is that accurate, Matt? When we started that whole process, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't recall the okay. exact numbers. I, I think I, I th we we were asking at that time uh, to transfer five hundred and thirty-five thousand from water surplus into a capital reserve, and then from capital reserve into a into the Main Street project to close it out. Okay. And and some of our concerns, or at least some, some of the council were concerned, that we didn't we we didn't want to leave the uh, water and the water CIP, you know, whatever. So what I'm really getting at is now there's about, I think, a million dollars in the water fund, correct? Yes. Okay. I'm just looking for ballpark yeah, no. numbers. It doesn't I, have to be exact. And I think in the water CIP, um, there's around 600,000, give or take, pretty close. I don't have the number off the top of my head. Okay, I think I think it's been pretty close to it, there was 580 transferred, and what I'm really getting at is we took 482 or 81 out of the downtown TIF to pay off the downtown TIF, and then we took 197 from the water CIP. That much you do remember yep. that's accurate, correct? Mm -hmm. So my question is, could we take? <clears throat> not a lot more but some more of what's in the water fund or CIP because we're going to be transferring money from the water fund into the water CIP that's what I'm assuming we're going to do later right and if we could do that and bring that 204 up not demonstratively but some we could have more money for tax relief no, um, you can add more money to go into the uh, what we're co the water uh, capital reserve fund that you're going to be creating surplus capital reserve fund, because there are additional funds in water surplus. However, the auditors and legal counsel said that any expenses must any reimbursement to the the Main Street project, which in return would go to the downtown to the general fund, must equal the amount of monies that were spent on the project. Uh, in your packets is a memo to show exactly the amount that was spent. The expenditures was originally council authorized $1,090,132 in water improvements in that project. $957,935 uh, was expended and there were the two um, council resolutions. It was the 498-244 from the Water Capital Reserve Fund uh, and then there was the 198 279 but the 482 came from the downtown tip. 498. Okay. F 498. It was, but there was monies that came from the the water capital reserve to reimburse the tip already. I, I. In 2007. Okay. Resolution 2008-10 had 498-244-50 that was reimbursed to the t to the tip from the water fund. So what, what I read this to say, Mr. Administrator, yep. is that. The memorandum says that the amount of money that was paid by the TIF 
for the water project is the cap on how much we can move over into the general fund. Correct. The unreserved, unrestricted general. That's correct. Unreserved, unreserved general fund. Unreserved fund. So we are capped by the amount of money that actually was spent on water projects. That is correct. Which is actually a number we didn't have last time. So if that's the case, just for sake of argument, mm -hmm. at one point we were ready to transfer 565000 we couldn't have been done. So are you basically saying that would have been inappropriate or it or illegal? Yes. I don't know. I wouldn't use the term illegal, but it probably would have been inappropriate in our auditor's eyes. Because this was the auditor and I worked through these numbers and how to do this. And they were the ones who went through everything and, det and determined the bet that had to equal the amount that was actually expended. Even though we were authorized to one, as we said, authorized to one million ninety thousand, we only expended nine hundred fifty-seven thousand. So that is the only amount that could be refunded to the general fund, and that was done over time by the previous two um, resolutions. And the remainder is the two hundred four thousand nine hundred forty-eight dollars. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll obviously take your word for it and the auditors, but just so I'm crystal clear. So, if we took any additional money from the downtown TIF and put it toward this, it would exceed the amount of money that was actually used for water upgrades. That's correct. And that's absolutely positively that's vetted. That's correct. Yes. Okay. That's a fair question, Councilor. Yep. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, any other discussion on all of these as a whole? The concept plan. Okay. <laughs> Seeing none, I will entertain a resolution to suspend the rules which allow us to vote with just one reading. So moved. Second. Second. <clears throat> Discussion. Clarification. Yes. Is that for all three? Um, for 24, yes. 27, and 30. 30, 31, 32? Yes. Uh -huh. For all four of them. 30, which is the establishment of the Water Surplus Capital Reserve Fund. Yep. 31, which is the transferring the water for sur from the Water Fund Surplus to the newly formed Water Surplus Capital Reserve Fund. Mm -hmm. 32, which is transferring funds from the Water Surplus Capital Reserve Fund. And 34. And 34, which is authorizes town administrator to enter a contract. No, we don't. That's, that's a different one. That's, that's a totally why separate. I want to make sure we'll only do the first. Ones. We'll only Thank do you. the three water ones, right? The first three, all right. So there's a motion to second discussion. Still My, I have a point of discussion. Mm -hmm. I understand we want to get this done in order to get it into the tax rate. I'm very, I'm just always sensitive to wanting to hear the public's opinion on things. Can we not wait to do this? No. Okay. We have to do this to help. We do. I'm sensitive to hearing their opinion, but I'm also incredibly sensitive to seeing their tax rates. So. And I can tell you the fourth one, it goes to the tax rate too. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. <coughs> Any other discussion? Councilor Branch. <coughs> Should these be read? I'll read them. I just oh, okay. Right now, we're just voting to suspend the rules. Okay. Any other discussion? Seeing no Mr. Administrator of the vote. Council Wright? Aye. Council Levy? Aye. Council Branch? Aye. Council Zink? Aye. Council Carmichael? Aye. Council Bentley? Aye. Council Nazaro? Aye. Motion passes 7 0. I'll now entertain a motion. Well, no, I will read resolution. Resolution 2012 13 30, relating to the establishment of a water surplus capital reserve fund. Whereas the Town of Newmarket desires to create a water surplus capital reserve fund, and whereas the statutory procedure to undertake said creation of said capital reserve fund will require the Town Council to adopt the provisions of RSA 35,7 Water Departments, which provides that any water department financed principally by water rentals may, by unanimous vote of the body charged with the administration thereof, establish a capital reserve fund for said department for the purposes as provided in RSA 35,1, established only from surplus water rentals, and no part thereof shall be made from appropriations by said town. And whereas RSA 35,1, establishment of reserves authorized provides for, quote, the establishment of a capital reserve fund for the financing of all or part of the cost of, one, the construction, reconstruction of specific capital improvement, unquote. And whereas the proper procedure to create said fund includes an amount to be transferred from the water fund surplus to the water surplus capital reserve fund. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the New Market Town Council does hereby approve the creation of a water surplus capital reserve fund pursuant to RSA 35 colon 7 for the purposes of 
stated in RSA 35 colon 1 and transfer from the water fund surplus to the newly created water surplus capital reserve fund in the amount of one dollar given at the town council of chambers New Market, New Hampshire the 7th day of November in the year of our Lord 2012 mr. administrator just so you know why it says one dollar and not the amount is because we want to have a, a paper trail to show exactly the money going out in and out from that account so we have that's why we have three different resolutions and the one dollar as long as you stay with it we'll leave this fund open so we can in the future contribute water surplus in there for uh, emergency purposes that we can start to build basically a savings account that if there was emergency in the water department we could go to that instead of having to go to um, town meeting to, uh, to actually appropriate something to uh, fix it Councilor Branch motion to adopt resolution 2012-2013-30 as read Second. discussion seeing now mr. minister of the vote Council Wright? Aye. Council Levy? Aye. Council Branch? Aye. Council Zank? Aye. Council Carmichael? Aye. Council Bentley? Aye. Council Nazaro? Aye. Motion passes 7 to 0. New Mar by the New Market Town Council, Resolution 2012 13 31, relating to transferring water fund surplus to the water surplus capital reserve fund. Whereas the town of New Market desires to transfer $204,948.95 water surplus capital reserve fund and whereas the water fund surplus is one million one hundred fifteen thousand four hundred twenty seven dollars as of September 30th 2012 now therefore be it resolved that the New Market Town Council does hereby approve a transfer of two hundred four thousand nine hundred forty eight dollars and ninety five cents from the water fund surplus to the water surplus capital reserve fund given at the Town Council Chambers the seventh day of November in the year of our Lord 2012 Councilor Vice Chair Bentley. Make a motion to <coughs> accept resolution, resolution 2012 13 31 relating to transfer and water fund surplus to the water surplus capital reserve fund. <coughs> second. Motion and a second. Discussion. My only point of discussion, mm -hmm. and this all happened long before you, and I understand that there was money that was found for uh, accounting reasons. There's no reason our water surplus should be that high, and that it's that high because rate users at some point paid that money, myself being one of them. So, and th now that you've created a surplus capital reserve fund, we can start putting when if there's a surplus, we can put it away and do real work and do it. work with okay. it. Okay, so. I like that. Uh, any other discussion? See on the Mr. Minister of the vote. Council Wright. Aye. Council Levy. Aye. Council Branch. Aye. Council Zink. Aye. Council Carmichael. Aye. <coughs> Council Bentley. Aye. Council Nazaro. Aye. Motion passes 7 0. Final one for this round. By the New Market Town Council, Resolution 2012 13 32. Resolution relating to the transfer to transferring funds from the Water Surplus Capital Reserve Fund. Whereas the Town of New Market desires to transfer $204,948.95 from the Water Surplus Capital Reserve Fund to reimburse the General Fund for water construction costs and whereas RSA 38 colon 29 one authorizes the town to use its water fund for improvements to its water system including from quote previous expansion or replacement of water lines or systems end quote now therefore be it resolved that the new market town council does hereby approve the transfer of two hundred four thousand nine hundred forty eight dollars and ninety five cents from the water surplus capital reserve fund to the general fund given at the town council chambers new market new hampshire the seventh day of november in the year of our lord 2012. i'll entertain a motion councilor branch motion to adopt uh, resolution 2012-2013-32 as read second motion and a second discussion seeing no discussion mr mm. minister of the vote Council Wright? Aye. Council Levy? Aye. Council Branch? Aye. Council Zank? Aye. Council Carmichael? Aye. Council Bentley? Aye. Council Nazaro? Aye. Motion passes 7 to 0. We will need, I'm about, there's another resolution right now, 2012 13, about authorizing town administrator to enter into a contract with MRI for general assessing. Mm -hmm. um, we will need a suspension of the rules in order to vote on this. So moved. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? 
Seeing no discussion, Mr. Administrator, the vote on suspending the rules. Council Wright? Aye. Council Levy? Aye. Council Branch? Aye. Council Zank? Aye. Council Carmichael? Aye. Council Bentley? Aye. Council Nazaro? Aye. Motion passes 7 0. Um, I'm, I'll read the resolution, then allow you to have the resolution 2012 13 34. <coughs> Authorizing the town administrator to enter into contract with general with municipal resources incorporated for general assessing services. Whereas the town of Newmarket requested proposals for general assessing services and whereas the town received six proposals and whereas municipal resources incorporated came in with the lowest price at $30,800 estimated a year. Now, therefore, let it be resolved that the New Market Town Council does hereby authorize the Town Administrator to enter into a contract with the Municipal Resources Incorporated of Meredith, New Hampshire, for general assessing services given at the Town Council Chambers, New Market, New Hampshire, the seventh day of November in the year of our Lord, 2012. I'll entertain a motion. Councillor Vice Chair Bentley. Make a motion to accept resolution 2012-13-34, authorizing town administrator to enter into a contract with Municipal Resources, Inc. for general assessing services. Second. Second. Discussion. Mr. Administrator, do you want to lead off the discussion? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, as the Council is aware, our uh, staff assessor retired earlier this year. And, and when I came on board, I solicited proposals to contract out assessing services. This contract will basically have the same level of services of an assessor in the uh, in town hall one day a, a week, plus there's 25 um, what, what we're calling floater days for the $30,800 a year. In addition, there will be additional costs for uh, any ab abatements that are appealed to the BTLA at $150 per abate, uh, abatement appeal there, and there's additional costs if it goes to Superior Court on an hourly basis just because of the time. Uh, currently in the proposed operating budget there's forty thousand dollars for fiscal year 14 uh, even though it says thirty thousand eight hundred dollars I just want to make sure with the volume of uh, abatements we may get that we have coverage so uh, actually we'll be uh, saving money by having this uh, contracted out I can tell you that the we've received six proposals and the highest was eighty five thousand thirty five dollars and municipal resources was thirty thousand eight hundred dollars but the next highest was thirty seven thousand uh, I re reviewed them all. They're all very similar. All, you know, basically bid the same thing. And I tried to back out some for the services that they were going to provide. And some of them were actually um, contracting. The cert we actually in the summertime have an individual who goes around as the um, pickups, the quarterlies that we we do, so we can do the statistical updates every five years. Some of them actually were including that in their proposals. I was trying to back it out. So um, originally, th some of them were much higher, but when I backed that out, it dropped the price. Municipal Resources, a very uh, well-respected company in this ma uh, field. They've been doing it for a long time. Uh, number of communities I've been in, we've used them, and it's a great uh, option other than hiring a staff person. So. Councilor Branch. I'm, I'm also, thank you. I got a quick question. That's right. Is this a yearly contract? It is. Okay, so it's not a this contract, I, I've asked to continue on to the end of the fiscal year, okay. and then we'll review it again okay. to maybe do a multi-year deal if we have savings. Thank you. Just just um, we had to suspend the rules for this because it's so imperative that we get it going. Okay. Um, that I can appreciate. Uh, how long haven't we had anybody doing this, roughly? Three months. Okay. Um, the delta between 85 and 30 is pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, you said you backed out, and, I, and I'm all for getting a great deal. Yeah. You said you backed out, um, you know, certain things that some people were going to provide that uh, maybe municipal resources wasn't. Um, was the RFP identical that it they was. all responded to? So I'm just curious from my own yeah. understanding. Why would some people have added in things? that you had to sort of try to, am I getting that right, that yeah, you had to back I, out? I think they were just trying to offer more services so we would buy more. And I explained to them we already have those services done in-house, we don't need that. And at this point in time, so they were just sort of saying, well, if you do need it, this is what the cost is going to be. I can tell you currently we spend $3,000 for the summer for one employee to do that, where most of these, as you can see, maybe a lot of them bumped it up, probably another 10 to 15. 
so there was a significant savings by doing that portion in house. We have a, a certified individual. The and just to go for the reason why we need to do it tonight. I, I I'm not one who likes to spend rules, but we need the assessor to actually run the tax warrant to send out the tax bills. So we need to have a, an assessor on here to make sure everything is is uh, accurate, and they're willing to do that as soon as possible. And just I forgot to mention one other level of review for all these proposals. I did send it off to DRA to make sure it's the same thing. Because I, I thought, I was like, man, why are these so odd? And so I asked the uh, individual at DRA to review them, and he said, no, they're all proposed, you know, the RFP is the same, the proposal is the same. He said, yeah, some of them baked it in, and you don't have to back it out, but they're all the same. Could this significantly, if we get a lot of abatements, could this number significantly go up? Yes. Is um, and is it just going to be based on an hourly rate at that point, or is it going to be, how's that going to be? That's determined? actually per abatement for the... Did uh, they come up with a dollar amount? They did. It? It's $150 per abatement to the BTLA. Superior Court would be an hourly one, just because the amount of time that you have to spend there. Usually that's a, a trial is probably about two days long, and th that's rare, though, to go to court. Usually it's negotiated. You're right. Did, and last thing, did the, when, when you're arguing this, don't they usually go up to Concord? That there it doesn't actually go to con court. It goes to a the, yeah. There's actually department up in uh, right. That's the two two paths. BTLA is the one you're thinking of that you appeal a uh, abatement to the board of tax and land appeals in Concord. You do have the right though if you don't want to go there is to go to Superior Court, and uh, you act so you actually have two avenues to go to, but you can only go one or the other. Uh, so by BTLA rules, then you can go to the Supreme Court. Which is rare. But. Would we need an attorney if that happened? Yes, you do. If you go to Superior Court, but if you go to BTLA, usually the assessor okay. is able to handle that. Okay, thank you. Other comments or discussion? How many abatements per year do we usually get? But the that's I'm sorry, that's a sideways question. The question is, was what calculations were done? To determine that the ten thousand or ninety two hundred dollar difference between forty thousand and thirty thousand eight hundred dollars yeah. in the contract will cover the abatements. My understanding from looking at past history, we had a number of abatements the last few years uh, right. that would brought us not quite up to that level, but we did have a couple court cases that may bump you up to the forty seven forty thousand dollar level. My hope would be if we had an assessor on board, you know, who's in house once a week, they they can usually fix those before they go to the BTLA. But again, I, I think the town had a number of appeals because of the, the spike in the tax rate a couple years ago. So they had, that's was a somewhat of an abnormality okay. and hopefully that will drop down. But if I just want to make sure we have something. In there. Were any calculations done based on previous years except for this spike we, to ensure we were, that? Yeah, and that, that's why if, if I use the spike, it would probably be closer to 45. Yeah. and So 40, I, I feel, com I wanted that extra in there to feel comfortable to make sure. The, the thing isn't so much the BTLA cases, it's the court cases. And if you have one court case, that could go right, blow right through the, the 10. I just want to make sure we're not doing Kentucky windage, putting our finger in the wind, and it was based no, on an no, average I number reviewed of everything. No, we okay. reviewed the number of abatements, and actually, we provided that number to the, all the the applicants. They had that as part of the uh, okay. RFP process. Good. So, thank you. Any other discussion? Vote. See none, Mr. Minister, to the vote. Councilor Wright. Aye. Councilor Levy. Aye. Councilor Branch. Aye. Councilor Zank. Aye. Councilor Carmichael. Aye. Councilor Bentley. Aye. Councilor Nazaro. Aye. Motion passes seven to zero. Um, <coughs> the next item is a resolution for usage of the unreserved fund balance to reduce the tax rate. Resolution 2012 13. Uh, do we need a res? No, there's a business meeting. We can vote on this. Yep. Right? Yeah. And there's no, this doesn't require two readings? Nope, you already, did, you already had the first reading. Oh, this good. has been on the table for a while. Resolution 2012 13 24. The town of Newmarket has an unreserved fund balance of. One million three hundred sixty-two thousand six hundred twenty-eight dollars, as of June thirtieth, two thousand twelve, and whereas the town council desires to retain at least five percent of its operating needs based upon a formula accepted by the New Hampshire Department of Revenue, and whereas the unreserved fund balance exceeds the minimum five percent balance by three hundred forty-six thousand. 
$316, and whereas the Town Council can either retain unreserved fund balance above the 5% or use any portion exceeding the 5% to reduce the tax rate, and whereas the Town Council wishes to release $150,000 of general fund surplus to reduce the tax rate and retain the remaining balance for proposed warrant articles that will be voted upon at the annual town meeting. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the New Market Town Council does hereby release general fund surplus of $150,000 for the purpose of reducing the tax rate, given at the Town Council Chambers the 7th day of November in the year of our Lord, 2012. Lawrence, in a motion. First, didn't we need to suspend the rules, et cetera? No, nope, that's, that's the water surplus. 30. That's the wrong one. All right, I'm done with it. Two minutes. Council Branch. Motion to adopt resolution 2012-2013-24 as read. Second. <coughs> Motion to second. <coughs> Discussion. Uh, Mr. Minister, you can start. Right. There are actually two amendments that could be done to this. Uh, well, three, but I'll let the third one be a policy decision of the council. The number now, since you just deposited $204,949 into general fund, unreserved fund balance by doing those transfers, our unreserved fund balance is now $1,567,576.53. So we would be $551,265 above the 5% um, mark. With those uh, and this is my recommendation part because the 150 was a recommended number before. Uh, if you were to use $300,000 of unreserved fund balance, our estimated unreserved fund balance would be $1,267,576.53 or 6.2. Um, which would be a very, which would be a, a safe fund balance. I don't want to use the term very healthy. It's a very, it's a safe one. It's 6.2, so it's 6, not 5. And three hundred thousand dollars would be about forty cents off the rate from what we've already um, discussed. And currently, DRA has estimated rate in at and it's going to sound a lot higher. Are you talking about the town portion of the rate or the yes. entire okay. town? We can only. I, yeah, I just want to make sure we're talking only about the town's portion. Yeah, we can only do the town portion. I just, it's a good point to remind everybody. The, uh, an estimate right now is about $6.68. Remember, though, uh, I, uh, remember that we have $136,000 coming off that due to annually you withdraw from. Uh, fund balance to offset the, I believe it was the Public Works fire department. fire department project that has to happen. We were talking all through budget with that estimate $150,000, so you're actually doubling that. So you'd be dropping that to a, about $6.27 per thousand, whereas last year's was $7.03. My other part of that would be leaving a little more in there, leaves it healthy so we can do something similar next year. because. As you know, through the budget process, we've been getting the numbers really tight. When you get the budget numbers really tight, that means there's less surplus usually to go in at the end of the year. So I, I don't want to have the spike by not having something in there just in case to offset next year. So that's why the, the additional, it's not going down all the way to what was 5%. Uh, it just gives us a buffer so we can uh, rebuild the fund balance to use it again. But that's a policy decision of the council. Councilor Zick. Uh, let, let him go. Um, well, I guess based on that information, I would like to amend my motion and amend the amount that the council wishes to release to 300000 Is that what the number we're looking yep. for right now? A second still. So the motion has been amended Amend. and the second. The amendment has been seconded. Councilor Zink, now do you? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, um, I'm supportive of the town administrator's a recommendation to um, retain um, some of those funds and not reduce the tax rate um, significantly as much this year for a couple reasons. Number one, the, the definition of uh, unreserved fund balance, since I've been working with the budget and town council has been all over the place in terms of how much we think we ought to have in our savings 
for account uh, for bad times. And um, I, I personally would like to see us conservative in terms of our unreserved fund balance so that we don't experience those spikes later on. Um, so as, as encouraged as I would be to, to, um, to reduce the tax rate as, as much as we could, I think, given our past history and some of the challenges that the town has before, I would, I would not recommend uh, reducing the final amount. Councilor Levy. Go ahead, Dean. No, I, I guess, you know, I'm all for a tax rate, but I think we were going to have at one time a discussion about the reserve fund using for pay down the taxes. It's great, but it's also a double-edged sword. I think we would be very, very careful if we were always saying, okay, we have this money and we're using to pay down the taxes. And weren't we going to have discussion, but I think Al was on vacation at one time and we put that discussion off. But I'm just, you know what I'm saying? It was I, this one, actually. Oh, we were going to have this vote, yeah. But I, I guess, you know, it's, we have a solution, we also have a problem. I just want to be, that. no, go ahead. Yeah. If, if I may, I, I, yeah. I completely agree with you. Yeah. You don't want to use a lot of the fund balance, as I said, to, to deflate it yeah. just so it jumps up back next year. My goal would be to not have, would be able to use the, the, del the delta between what we currently have and 8% uh, to use it again next year or for capital projects. That's why I have that extra little buffer at to being at 6% and not going all the way down to 5 because if you go to 5 the next year we'll have absolutely nothing if if everything comes in tight and I, I just want to make sure we have I don't I want to have something in there to be able to, to avoid any uh, drop in it and have the spike the following year just to try to be safe there yeah, I have no problem with 6%. I got a couple of questions um, I'm assuming the money from both TIF districts have been put into this correct that's correct in total yes okay so the maximum we could um, use if we went to five percent would be three what maximum to get to five percent is um, five hundred fifty one thousand two hundred sixty five dollars five fifty one one two sixty five okay so in and and that equates to just I if I can just on the tax rate that equates to 60 cents or something. 75 maybe is there a way yeah, well, we it's just 300. Yeah. It's 600 would be 80 cents. So back it off of that a little bit. So I just would like to know. 74 cents. Seven. What is it? 74 cents. Okay, 74 cents. And and at 300, mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be what again? 40 uh, cents. What, uh, and they say 30 or 40. 40. Cents. Oh, it's going to be 40. And these are estimates. So. And do we have any idea what our tax rate, the overall town tax rate, is going to be this coming year? Uh, we're estimating. Could we estimate so we could sure. hear it, please? Without using that figure, yeah. the overall would be twenty-four dollars and thirty cents. Twenty-four thirty without this number. Without that number. Yeah. Which is a decrease from twenty-five thirty-one for this year. Okay, so it's basically a dollar off the tax rate. Currently, without yes, using. Yes, I understand. Yep. So, because it's the first time I've really yep. been able to think this through so instead of three instead of 550 we're going to three um, one other question if I may so if we used if we if we cut it in the middle just if we did w meaning we we went you know four say mm -hmm. okay what are you and we stay we have a tight budget and we stay pretty much within the budget what is your most grave concern that the tax rate will spike enormously next year if you don't i mean yeah i would only you would only have you'd go back to having the you'd actually two things one you have to cover the hundred and thirty six thousand dollars so you have to make sure that's always in there. If you went to the to the four hundred thousand, you'd have one hundred one million one hundred sixty seven thousand five hundred seventy six dollars or five point seven. So you just got enough to cover the one thirty six. 
okay. for that annual uh, transfer. Yeah. No, what, just because yeah. this is kind of important. You don't. Yep. Weren't we going to try to get a warrant to eliminate that one thirty six? That was my and we do, but I have to plan if we don't if it doesn't pass. Okay. But that's a biggie. Yep. I mean that's really important. If that passes, mm -hmm. then we don't have that tire iron around our neck. That's correct. Okay. And is there a is there a reason? in general that people would is there a benefit to voting against that for the for the taxpayers is there a reason people would okay no. so based on that i feel uncomfortable and i'm i'm a pretty conservative guy and i'm pretty much a saver i feel uncomfortable not using a little bit more i you know i'm not a soothsayer but I think we've paid for that building. We can get that warrant hopefully passed. Is that just a simple majority, that warrant? Yes. And and we're going to spend some time discussing that and explaining it to people. And is it going to come up at the deliberative sessions, et cetera? It will be, yep. Okay. And, um, and I think people are going to be very understanding of the fact that not voting for that is going to, you know, really cause us to to be in this quagmire not next year or this year every year coming down the road for 10 years or whatever it is left on it mm -hmm. so if you if you want my humble opinion i i feel comfortable splitting it not even all the way in the middle i'd like to take another hundred that would put it at four you'd still have an extra fifty one thousand you know if we were cutting it really in half and I don't want to, you know, be a negotiating guy on Pawn Stars, but I'd like to meet in the middle. I think it's pretty important. I think people's tax rates are whacked out, and I think people are really at their wits' end. Can I'm not the old to guy on Pawn Stars? No. <laughs> <laughs> guy, well, you'd have all the money, but you wouldn't have as many years to go. <laughs> other, other comments? <laughs> Councilor Carmichael. I agree with uh, Councilor Levy. This is the time to do it. Uh, definitely. My, I am all for lowering the tax rate as much as possible, but I just have two two concerns. One, whoever's sitting here next year is going to have the room that we had a year ago because the reason that room was like that in many ways was because we artificially had bought the tax rate down so many times that people didn't realize how much their services were costing. So when they actually saw what they cost, they got that in their tax rate, and we had a room full mm -hmm. of that. We had, you know, rightfully angry individuals in the room. So I, I just want to make sure that, that the spike issue isn't coming and going, that we don't buy it so low that we're, again, masking the cost of what we're actually getting out of services, and then the year after that it comes back up. So I, I am sensitive to that up and down. Um, apparently I'm so sensitive to it, I forgot what my second point was going to be. <laughs> but well, yeah, tr I am second. trying to meet in the middle. You know, just yeah. It's not like I'm trying to take it all. The uh, what? I guess I have two questions. Do you have what our tax rate was two years ago? I actually yeah, it went up three dollars and something cents, so it was like twenty-two. If you're going back the year before this crazy one, it was like twenty-two something. Matt, do you have that number? Twenty-two on the nose. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to. It went up three dollars. First, it went up three dollars and seventy cents, and then they screwed up, so it went down to three thirty-one. So we're going down to. 2430 and then somewhere between 2390 and 2370. Mm. I mean, we're still, we're, we're still leaving, you know, a buck and a half or so. You know, it's I, not. You my know. last question is do we have, if the, if the warrant passes mm -hmm. and that 136 comes off, what then will that, what buffer will that leave us then? In our unreserved fund balance, that would leave us at that the two hundred, for it to be at the five. Okay. Yeah, that would give you that that. So, if it if it doesn't pass, you would have the one thirty six plus whatever's remaining of that two hundred before you get to the five. Yeah. So probably about a hundred. I'm sorry if uh, the finance director is making faces. I'm trying to find out why. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably trying to help. <laughs> Come to the podium. Uh, uh, that's the, if you make right. faces, you get to 
<laughs> you have to talk on TV. <laughs> That's how the 136 is coming from a restricted fund balance account. Right. It doesn't come from unrestricted fund balance. Okay, so that's why when you use the 400,000, you're only going to have whatever's remaining in that surplus. Okay. okay, so next year you might see an increase in the tax rate unless the town had you know has some sort of un extra revenue or turn back of, of appropriations, or we close other funds. I, I mean, I'm all I'm so all for lowering the tax rate as much as possible. But yeah. you know, it, unfortunately, when it goes on a warrant article, people automatically don't even read through it. <laughs> yeah, that's just human nature, mm -hmm. and they automatically say no. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Point, yeah. case in point is last year's budget, which was lower than the year before's budget, right. and people voted no on that. Right. Three hundred eighty people, 380 voted, people voted no on it. it. Right. That's oh, the branch. Oh, okay. um, Actually, if I may, I got a couple of questions. One that Matt or the town administrator may be able to help answer for me. Um, in in this money, in in this fund, how much one-time money was put in there from closing this, that, or the other thing? Is there any funds that went in there that we're not going to see like next year, the year after? <laughs> What we roughly, just roughly, roughly, do you have a dollar? Uh, well, just the two hundred and four thousand okay. from tonight. Yeah. All right. And the closure of the uh, Black Bear Tiff, and I don't so, remember the number off the top. You of my know, head. we're not going to see that money again. No. Um, my concern is um, that an additional hundred thousand dollars real, uh, really equates to about thirteen, fourteen cents on the tax rate. So that's that's what you're going to be able to knock off. But sitting here as council is doing our jobs with the budget, you know, we cut, cut, get leaner, and we already know we're not going to get a lot of this one-time money. We're probably not going to see a fund balance as large at the end of the year, next year and the year after as we're, we may see this year. Speculation, but you just don't know because we have been flat or I mean, last year I think it was flat. This the budget we're currently on is flat from last year's budget. So, you know, I I'd be very nervous. Um, once again, I'll go back to what I was told probably 18 months ago. Um, you know, you should have two months working funds in the uh, fund balance, which we don't. We've trimmed that down to five between five and six percent. That's what. That's what did get us to the situation that we were in last year. We didn't have the money there to spend, so I, I would, I would prefer that at least we vote on the motion that's on the table. Other discussion. Yeah, yeah I, I, I think that the, the greatest criticism and rightful criticism that we got was the uh, surprise and the spike, and I think I would like to conservatively go to the taxpayer and say we've. We built enough in there so that we've limited the potential for not eliminated, but limited. Um, we're going to put a little more in our savings account this year. That's that's my thought. So I I support it as written. Yes, Olivia. Just um, if I just want to get this out right, we're not going to have. Um, the one-time money from the downtown or the black beer okay going forward yeah however the Warren articles this year are going to have the dollars to the tax rate associated with them at least on our side of the right uh, on our side of the pond <laughs> um, if we stay within our budget and we don't have any catastrophic surprises <clears throat> I mean at the end of the day a really catastrophic surprise whether we have a hundred or um, whether we have uh, 150 or 250, at the end of the day, if 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 it really hits the fan, we're we're going to need to do something. So, I guess my question is, if we basically stay within the budget that we've set or we're about to set for this year, or that you know the flat mm -hmm. to uh, actuals, which I think is really as responsible as we could possibly be under the circumstances. Um, is there any reason 
unless we have some really unexpected calamity or, or dollar amount or budget you know increase is there any reason that we should see a spike in other words if, if revenues essentially come in as we've expected we stay within our budget meaning you know this year's but you know uh, the taxes come in what we expect etc cetera, etc cetera. we stay within our spending um, no big time outside you know world events that cause us to have to borrow or bond or whatever um, is there any reason that we would see a demonstrative spike next year in your mind Let me answer that. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. yeah somebody um, answers. I don't care if you use 400,000 this year you will have less next year to reduce the tax rate because that I get under your scenario yeah. your revenues and your expenditures are kind of coming in at budget so there's nothing really to increase that amount okay yeah so if you were to use that cushion next year you wouldn't be able to reduce the tax rate that you would reduce the tax rate but it wouldn't be as significant as four hundred thousand dollars so you would see an uptick of the tax rate until that surplus is completely gone okay well the, then I'll just say this it's just my opinion <clears throat> we don't we don't know the future mm -hmm. you know the economy is is not great it, it's sort of flattening out a little bit I think people need help now I think we're not leaving our bank account empty um, if we stay I think at the end of the day whether we have 150 or 250 it isn't really going to make a hill of beans different if something really comes up that we're going to have to write a check for or find money for that's just my opinion I don't think it's going to make a damn bit of difference so in the spirit of that and and believe me I'm you know I'm struggling with it but I'm really not because I don't think the hundreds I think the hundred means more to people in their pocket today than if the town has to find money will find money I don't think the extra hundred is going to make the end of the world so that is why I, I would rather see us go with the extra hundred thank you that's about all I got other comments questions <clears throat> Matt how much of our surplus today came the surplus we have right now came from unexpended revenue like budget items how much of this is just savings from us coming in under budget I don't have that number uh, like readily available I could I mean, if we, we can just talk some real quick it's numbers it's a good chunk though because of yeah you, you had the 200 well uh, let's see how much was the black bear tiff close out was that like or something four eighty yeah, four eighty four eighties that sounds about right okay um, I go with my, my numbers. Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, what was the downtown? So, do you remember? Uh, the downtown we used up the downtown to uh, close, close out the, the project. project. So really, it's coming back that's with this two hundred and four. Sort of that's yeah. tonight. I, the, what I care about is how much because at the end of the day, we just we're coming in with a budget that is flat to what we basically spent the year before. Yeah. So basically, anything that was savings. Yeah. By over budgeting. Has now been taken out is not going to be coming back into this. That's right. So, it is. I, I get where you're coming from, uh, Councilor Levy. Can I, can really I just address one little small thing, just because this is like one of the most important conversations yep. we've had, I think. You know, there's a very good chance that Black Pier may have not been closed. You know, but for not being yep. legal and this and that and the other thing. You know, that money had basically been set aside for a decade or so. Um, we went and bought a piece of the Wilson property for about 600 grand okay I mean that was taxpayer money that had not been really able to be used for a long long time and you know it is what it is so be it you know now it comes back but you know I and I hear you I we came in under budget last year we're basically budgeting this year pretty close to the six one or so that we budgeted last year we spent last year. Excuse me. That's what I meant. We, what didn't we budget? Yeah, we budgeted six five. Then we spent like six one. I thought we we're budgeted. budgeting close to what we budgeted for this. That's what I meant. Year. Yeah, we budgeted this about this six. Year, that's which what is I close meant. to what we spent the year. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. It, uh, I, I guess the thing is, I'll just go back to that same argument that I made made a minute ago. If 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 things turn sour, we're going to have to find money anyway. I, don't, I mean, I don't think the hundred's going to make the end of the world, but I do think it has more of an impact on people's pocketbooks 
then maybe some, and I don't think anybody up here doesn't care. That's not my point, but I just hear it all the time. That's all I hear. The, so let me finish my point before we go to Council yeah. of the Branch. The, my point is not that the $200,000, having 200 as opposed to 150 or 250 in there as opposed to 150 is not going to save us if something catastrophic happens. It is preventing us from next year having to see, have less money to buy down the tax rate and have people's taxes go up because this year we bought it down so much. I, I, know the, your, I, I totally get your intent is, is pure and good in this, but to me it would, it would be politically expedient, but for the long, for the individuals here who's gonna see their tax rates do the roller coaster, it just, I just don't think it's the right thing to do for them. That's just, that's what I'm saying. Now I'm not saying that the 300 is the right number or the 400, but maybe somewhere in between. Council of the Branch. Okay, if I can remember how I was thinking about this. Do you recall, Matt, what the uh, fund balance was previous year? Was it 600 something? I can find out. Um, hold on, let me. Uh, Bear with me, it'll get me to, I think, yep. the point which, I want Which make. year, Mike, previous year? Well, last, year last year. Last year. At the end of the fiscal year last year. So two when, when we sat down to do the t last tax rate, was, what was our fund balance after? It's loading a spreadsheet. Do you want to go on to another question? Or well, I, I, while, while it's loading. Probably it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> and we've already established that we added to the fund balance the 480 from uh, the down, uh, from uh, Black Bear, correct? Yes. Roughly 480. So assuming my number at 600,000 is, is accurate, that's one point, this is a million eight, right? A million eighty. Um, yeah, right? Hold on one second. Hmm. Say that one more time, Mike, Council of if, if you add 480 <laughs> from Black Bear mm -hmm. and assuming that it's 600,000. Oh, okay, so 1.8. 1.8. Yeah. Um, and we're dealing with 1362, okay? And we're already taking, in essence, with the additional monies that um, town administrator is suggesting, we're Increasing that to 250, was it? Oh no, 300. 300. Okay. So in essence, if we ran, if we're running a flat balance and we end up with 300, we're still going to end up at the same place next year. If my, you, you see what I'm saying? If my numbers are accurate. Yeah. The number. Yeah. I, it's this is just a rough estimate, just on the fly. Um, you started it out about 350 thousand. That's what we started out. Yes. So in essence. Um, we had eight, seven that we seven hundred thousand, seven yeah, six hundred and change <laughs> that we actually had left over unexpended funds. I guess would be the best. Well, yeah, you had unexpended funds. Uh, so Black Bear TIF closure. That would lend credence to Councilor Levy's point. That's what, that's what I've more. been trying to say. Because it was more, there was more money than we that we saved more money than we realized. Um. Well, you have to understand that in the 2012 budget, I think we cut something like, or between the 12 and the 13 budget, we cut something like $600,000. So you're not going to have that kind of money coming back into. But we're not balance. budgeting like that now. No. So you're not going to if if everything is equal, you're just whatever he's projecting for your unreserved fund balance after the takeaway of the 400,000. That's what you're going to have next year. Mr. Administrator, I, and I just want to make sure. The council adopted a policy uh, a few meetings ago that you would have between five percent and ten percent. Mm. We're saying it if you use three hundred thousand, you'd be at six point two. If you use four hundred, you'd be at five point seven. Eight would be the the, the average one. Seven five. Seven five. Um, and there is a the, the the safety valve that was in the policy. I don't know if everybody can remember. If you go below five, you have to budget money to get up to five. So if for some reason we were down to four, we'd have to make up that difference by having a line item in the operating budget that said contri contribution to unfund designated fund balance. So I, I just, you know, I, w I just want to make sure everybody's aware of the policy when the debate is going on, and that's all. What are, uh, Council of Benches, do you have more questions? No, I'm, I'm okay for right now. You know, you know what it is. People, uh, you know, and and I know they don't want to see a spike, but you know, people. The I I think things can 
be somewhat of a self-fulfilling prophecy. If, um, if we don't want to have a spike, we won't make a spike. We'll only do it if it's absolutely unequivocally necessary. And, um, and I really, th you know, I don't think the 100, I think the 100 means more to the tax rate than it does to, I, I don't want to say it again. I just, I, I apologize but, for it. Well, I, know, I know where Councilor Levy stands at 400. I want to Councilor Zeke. I'll just, um, I'm just trying to get a read this, on people. Yeah, uh, this to me is, 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 it's not quantifiable. It's qualitative, and it's how much do you want in your savings account? And given New Market's history, and given what's going on in state with funding and federal with funding and rising costs and a tight budget, I think we owe it to the taxpayers to, and, and, and given the, the town administrator's comment relative to how much we're putting in the savings bank, um, I think we owe it to the, to the residents, to the taxpayers, to make sure that we're budgeting conservatively, not on the not on the edge, and I just, just feel really uncomfortable about it. So, what number? I, I, You're sticking with. The I'm sticking with the, the 300. Yeah. Council Branch 300. Council Carmichael. I feel real comfortable with 400. 400. That's your Bentley. <clears throat> Um, like That's kind of where I'm at. I'm at like Councilor Branch and, and several of us that were here, you know, when um, <clears throat> I agree with Councilor Levy that if some catastrophic things happen, but you know, one thing we always keep forgetting is the the impact of this the pension thing had on this group that no one could have seen coming. Everyone was up in arms, and there's no one here that knew. We got told what in June. We got told in June, the end of June. Oh, by the way, the bank's empty, and you know. Your portion is now ninety-eight thousand dollars. We thought we were going to get some money. We're not, and and you know we can say, well, that'll never happen again, and it will. So, um, I'm we're all. I think everyone sitting up here is a homeowner, and I certainly um, know that I could use the money. Um, I'm saying, in the spirit of compromise, I, I see both sides. I absolutely see see um, council levies, and I absolutely see everyone else's, and I see my own. I'm really kind of in the middle. I I, I would throw out that in the spirit of helping the taxpayer a little bit more and, and say helping preserve the town a little bit more, maybe we say 350 And uh, whether it's six more cents or seven more cents, every cent counts. So that's where I'm at. I mean, I, I, I agree with you, 350 is where I'm sitting at. And it's not as much to save the town a bit more, it's to help the current taxpayer and prevent major spiking to the future taxpayer for the next year. Councilor Wright, what do you When will we have the official number from DRA? As soon as you guys decide this, we decide this. <laughs> we go to DRA. <laughs> I'm only going with the 315. So now we have two 400s, two 300s, and three 350s. Correct. So have a three-way vote. <laughs> None of it. Castle the branch. Move the vote. Move the question. So you want to move the question on 300? Yeah, because there's a motion on the table. So, there is a motion on the you table. know, if we want to do away with that motion, then let's vote it down and move on to the next. Okay. We'll move it up. Just, uh, just or a procedural one. Proceed. I would recommend that somebody makes a motion to amend it to one of the other numbers and vote that up or down. Because if you vote down the resolution, we, oh. we have to reintroduce another resolution Ooh. and go to another meeting. So somebody needs to make a motion to amend it to one of their numbers. <laughs> can I amend it? Yeah. Any member of the council can amend it. Can I amend the number uh, instead? What about the motion oh. that's on the table, though? That you're amending the motion. But I made the motion. Oh, so he has, he has to, to. No, anybody can, can amend, amend a, motion. a motion. He's not polling it? No, you don't poll it. The resolution has been introduced and it's been motioned and seconded to be introduced for discussion or amendment. And we now can amend it. And now you can amend it as much as you want. But you don't want to defeat the original one because then we have to come back. To reintroduce that resolution right. with a new number. Right. Can I make a friendly motion? Um, you can a motion. I'd like to have an emotion. There you go. <laughs> I'll make a friendly um, amendment, sort of in the middle of everything, just as an ask. Just as an ask, could we go to three seventy-five? There's an amendment. Is there a second? Just to ask him. I'll Council. second. You'll second it. Okay. So now there's. Do we have to vote on the amendment. Yes. So right now there is a motion to amend it to three seventy-five. 
We, that is the current motion that is on the table, not the original resolution. No, if that fails, do we have to start the whole? No, no, no. Nope. Okay. Okay. Then it goes back to the 300,000. Then it goes back to 300. That's a little bit. No, I'm okay. F FYI? Yes. $375,000 is 50 cents. Exactly. It's a nice num number. And we'll leave how much left? 5.9% or 1,192,000. How much over the 5% in real dollars? Over the 5%? Uh, let's see. 2, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, 176, 276. And 176 is how much in the tax rate? You're working them. Eh, no, I know, no problem. These are the numbers we need. Yeah, it's good. It's good. This is people's lives. About 24 cents. 24 cents. So, should everything else being equal, should we vote at the 375, or should this pass? It will be 50 cents on the tax rate reduction this year. Yes. And again, all of the things being equal. Plus the doll. Only right. 20. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Plus the doll. Yeah. <laughs> only 24 cents reduction on the tax rate next year. So in effect, it will be a 26 cent increase to people's taxes from this year to next year. You would have 24 cents to, to do it. As of with all current dollars, that's correct. And and just on that point, because we're still in discussion, mm -hmm. if if we could if we can't give more next year, at least they had the benefit of it this year, all the taxpayers, and hopefully, I mean, I think I don't see how that's a terrible thing, but that's hopefully they take ginkgo boba and have good memories. <coughs> they have a discussion on the three seventy five, on the amendment to three seventy five. Well, you can't always give a tax break. I mean, what are you going to do? Do the best you can. Seeing no other discussion, we are now voting on the amendment from 300000 to 375 Mr. Administrator. Council Wright? Aye. Council Levy? Aye. Council Branch? Nay. Council Zank? Nay. Council Carmichael? Aye. Council Bentley? Nay. Council Nazaro? Glad you're in that seat. <laughs> <laughs> Are you here for being chair? Uh, <laughs> uh, 50 is an even number. It's a nice number. You get the big money. We'll say nay right now. Okay. Does not pass. Motion fails. Here, here's my question. What is the, if we cut this in half, <coughs> how much can we reduce it this year? I'm sorry, I don't understand what you might cut in half. Literally cut, we have how much excess right now? 375 plus 176 is how much? No. Or 550, right? Yeah. So cut that in half. Is what are you trying to cut in here? No, baby, what's the right number? Now. No, what's the number? Well, it's 550, so 275. 75. Yeah. 75, we're actually, so, so be it, we're, the 300 is higher than that. 300 is higher than mm -hmm. that. Okay. Okay. Which point there? I was trying to figure out a way to cut in the middle. Well, we are. Oh, Amen. Oh, never mind. He's lit up. Oh, Councilor Branch. Okay. Um, I'd like to amend the amount to 350. Second. Motion and a second. Discussion. Well, can we have the tax rate? Yeah, I agree with council. Right. It's going to be that? like three. Forty-seven like cents that. would be the reduction. Three so, cents. so three cents yeah. different. This is a three cent difference that we're having this conversation. About. Yeah. Okay. Council branch. And I agree. That's all it is. All I'm trying to do is is to make a compromise that perhaps the council can fully support. I agree. Um, and and that's really why. I mean, I would personally stick at my 300, but I realize what the council's saying. I'm listening to what the council's saying, and I'm more than willing to go to the 350 because I think we can get a unanimous vote on that. And to me, that's that's important. I agree. Other discussion. I agree with Council Branch, that's why I said it. I know I can see the 300 side, I can see the foreigner side, I can see the council side and the homeowner side, so <coughs> that's why I threw it out there. <coughs> so we would now be voting on the amendment to change it from 300 to 350. Correct. Any other discussion? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Minister. Council Wright? Aye. Council Levy? Fine. Councilor Branch? Aye. <laughs> Councilor Zink? Aye. Councilor Carmichael? Aye. Councilor Bentley? Aye. Councilor Nazaro? Aye. Motion passes 7 to 0.
that's to amend it. Now you need to vote on the resolution. Uh, yes. Any other discussion on the resolution as it currently stands, which is as it reads, save 350 as opposed to 150. So, for what it's worth, this is currently two hundred thousand dollars higher than the initial reduction of the tax rate we were discussing. Yes. Any other discussion? <coughs> Seeing none, Mr. Minister of the Vote. Council Wright? Aye. Council Levy? Aye. Council Branch? Aye. Council Zink? Aye. Council Carmichael? Aye. Council Bentley? Aye. Council Nazaro? Motion passes seven to zero. Make a motion to adjourn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take it off that easy. <laughs> Hey, good discussion though, councillors. I think this is what the public got elected us up here to do. So I appreciate that everyone was that involved. Can we yes, councillor. Can we give a approximate amount there? What was it? What did it finally come out to as a total with the dollar and what they? This is a dollar forty-seven. I will put the dollar forty-seven. Yeah, thank you. On the town side. Town side. Town side. Mm -hmm. It's a dollar. It's a dollar. No, no, no. The dollar forty-seven is not the overall tax rate. Oh, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> so no, somebody was saying that. I'm like, no, I don't want to make sure. That, no, that's a reduction on what we're estimating on the municipal side. Correct. Yes. Um, what is our next resolution? My bookmarks are not. Actually, working. it's not a. It's not a resolution. It's the adoption of the fiscal year fourteen operating budget. All right. Try to sneak. Six F adoption of the fiscal year fourteen operating budget. Do you have anything you want to read from this? Well, I just want to, the council received a memorandum from me um, about f further additions and reductions that the council requested after the workshop. They requested that we add $12,000 for codification of ordinances and $15,000 for town attorneys. After reviewing the budget, we made the following changes to have no tax increase. We eliminated funding for Seacoast Hospice. It was determined that Seacoast Hospice has merged with Beacon Hospice of Massachusetts. It is no longer a nonprofit agency. This eliminated four thousand dollars from the budget. We're reducing funding for bus trips to level funded from the previous years to thirty-eight to thirty-eight thousand twenty-seven dollars for forty from forty-two thousand five hundred dollars. This is a savings of four thousand four hundred seventy-three dollars. Solid waste general supplies will be reduced from twenty to twenty thousand dollars for twenty-three thousand two hundred fifty dollars for savings of three thousand two hundred fifty dollars. In addition, after reviewing revenues we collect from ambulance calls, we estimated this would be $10,000 uh, $10, higher than the previous year. With all these changes, it will result in a level tax rate. It's not an equal 27 to 27, but when you're talking the large budget, it comes to that number. So, if I can find my... The grand total is... Yeah, that's... I'm I apologize, I had the wrong file up. Four million six hundred. I, I wish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, um, I'll make you pay for that. Yeah. <laughs> for your five point whatever. Give me one second. I oh, opened up the have. wrong file. Uh, you should have an original. The new budget. Total expenditures. Town Council proposed be nine million one hundred fifty-eight thousand four hundred three dollars. This is exactly a one percent budget increase over the previous year. However, with the additional revenues, we're going to reduce overlay from one hundred fifty thousand to one hundred thousand. Uh, plus, you add the war service credits. It would be net appropriation for the town of four million seven hundred forty-one thousand thirty-four dollars. Last year's net appropriation was $4,741,865, but we had a reduction in the value of the town, so that's why we're even. It, so the reduction in the valuation is, is minimal, My, right? Like You're $800. $800. Right. So yeah, just, yeah, just, just I'm a little confused. Was the budget this year, did it come in uh, absolutely flat to the actuals of last year or was still up? We're up. We're ab up about ninety thousand dollars. Percentage. One percent. Okay. That's that's for the expenditures, but with everything else, yeah, zero tax increase because of increase in revenues, and reductions in overlay, and other changes. And if just so I know, when you said you, uh, um, if the revenues don't come in for whatever reason, is that going to be? We we stop. We can hold off on spending. 
So you're going to make sure yep. it stays at zero. And what you do is, impact. yeah, because that that's when you if you hold back on spending, you would have additional monies that go into fund balance in the end of next fiscal year, and you roll that in to offset any decrease in the revenue. Okay. <coughs> Councilor Carmichael, <coughs> was that an old light? It's an old light. Any any other uh, <coughs> discussion? Are we going to? Uh, are we going to vote on the budget now next the, the no I mean is that the, pro yeah, that's, that's that's the, protocol. the protocol right now so the only thing I just have more of a comment if it's okay to just you know we we really I think work extremely hard uh, on trying to keep it at, at actuals uh, to a point where and I, I uh, wish I could have been here a little bit longer excuse me on Saturday and I watched the discussion I appreciated you know how hard everybody you know worked and whatnot and I just hope that the rest of the uh, side of the town is is focused on the budget let's just say that because there was a lot of um, back and forth and I think it's really important to the overall town and the taxpayers I don't usually get up on a soapbox but I think it's really important that we try to keep the budget as flat as possible so great point <coughs> Any other discussion Need a motion, right? Um, yes, we'll need a motion. May I make it? You may make it, Council. Uh, make a motion to let me see to adopt the budget as presented. I guess that's a proper way of putting it. Uh, just for the record, it's nine million one hundred fifty-eight thousand four hundred three dollars, and I'll just say net appropriation is four million seven hundred forty-one thousand thirty-four dollars. Which the number you're going to see is the nine million one fifty-eight. Uh, 403 because that's you got to show the expenditures so what is the is the motion the four or the nine to the or, nine yeah the nine one five eight four oh three okay nine one eight four oh three nine one five eight nine one five eight four oh three second motion is second. and that is for fiscal year 14 14, 14. discussion seeing none mr. minister the vote Councilor Wright? Aye. Councilor Levy? Aye. Councilor Branch? Aye. Councilor Zank? Aye. Councilor Carmichael? Aye. Councilor Bentley? Aye. Councilor Nazaro? Aye. Motion passes 7 to 0. I, I just want to reiterate as well, and I think Councilor Levy was absolutely correct. I, I've never seen this council work as well together as we did during the last budget conversations. And and in working with the department heads and the town administrator, finding ways that we can minimize impact on services while ensuring that we have maximum impact on reducing the tax levels for the residents of this town. So I think it was just an amazing effort by everyone and I was very proud to watch us again on television. Can, so. can I just ask one question with related and I forgot to ask it early and I, I should have just with respect to the budget. If the incentives or the bonuses, you know, the $50,000 line, <clears throat> the one thing I, I, I haven't seen yet, can we, can the council be given um, what the plan is for that? That's actually my next. Probably should have done that. But that yeah, but remember that those won't be handed out until probably June, uh, January, between January and June of 2014. Okay, so it's so another year. So I, all I would ask is if we could see that, and we could see how absolutely. you're planning on laying that money out. And yep. obviously, if if that money doesn't get spent, that's going to fall into the fund balance. Absolutely. correct. Okay. And that, and I, I would hate to say that, but as you said, if there was an issue with spending. That would be something you look at as holding back, and we don't want to do that. For, you know, we've tried very hard to make sure employees were uh, saw something this time, but that that would be something we'd look at, sadly. But you're going to come up with a something tangible. A performance measurement plan is my is one of the projects. And Absolutely. We can give you some feedback. Yep. Okay. okay. The Good. council. Would Thank you. <coughs> um, next item on the agenda: new business. Town council to consider nominations, appointments, and elections. Uh, for the Economic Development Committee, <coughs> Bill R. Cherry, member at large, Vice Chair Ben Lee. Just, I didn't have his thing in my packet or on here, so I just, it's, it's in we there. were usually getting yeah. the, go to the next one. Page 63. Oh, 63. I got 59. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got the new one. Take that back. <laughs> Yeah. Well, no, I got mine today. <laughs> I'm on 60. This is old. Yeah, yeah. This is new. <laughs> no, mine's on 63. <laughs> uh, I will entertain a motion. 59. I'd make a motion to um, <clears throat> put or or um, nominate uh, Bill Cherry 
to the Economic Development Committee. Second. Second. Motion is second. Any oh, discussion? He's going to say the term. That you oh, yeah, oh, the term. Yeah. I'm as, oh, I, 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 I'm years. assuming it's a oh, three, is it a three-year term? It's not on. It's supposed here. to be on here. It's supposed to be on. Ah, oh, no, here, here we go. Full. It says full membership, three-year term. Yeah. Position applying for it. See it in parentheses. Okay, that's just to write it on. So here. you'll know yeah, we've nice. had we've had terrible mix-ups on terms mm -hmm. and they're requiring that they go on the applications. So I'll look at the. But is it is there? It is on the application. Well, it says it, it no. says state new term expiration date. No, is. there's a line that says no, full membership, three-year term. Yeah, but we we it's should it's fill in what the expiration date is. Okay. It's it's mm -hmm. bitten us. We actually time made it up. Policy. Okay. So anyway, that's it. <clears throat> Still second. Discussion outside of ensuring that they are doing that. I think Bill's a great choice. Yeah. He's got uh, feedback. Good experience. It's going to be a big value to you. Any other discussion? See that, Mr. Minister of the vote. Council Wright. Aye. Council Levy. Aye. Council Branch. Aye. Council Zank. Aye. Council Carmichael. Aye. Council Bentley. Aye. Council Nazaro. Motion passes. Aye. Motion passes 7 to 0. There, quick thing. Yes. We're still looking for one more member. We're still looking for one more member. Uh, I know that a couple, uh, I, I believe the planning board chair reached out to a couple of yep. individuals, so we should be hearing shortly. Um, and we thank her for her effort. We now have six ordinances for first readings. Yep. All right. People at home, get ready to listen to my voice. Um, can't you do that quickie thing where you say... No, these are the actual readings. We need to have two readings. Oh. And they're, they're all pretty short. Right. Um, <laughs> it, it, would, it would sound... It would be pretty bad to have a first reading and then just read the top and not tell people what's in it. Uh, New Market Town Council Resolution 2012-13-25, relating to the purchase of new flooring at the library with funds to be transferred from the Library Capital Reserve Fund. Whereas the library seeks to replace carpet with tile within its building, and whereas the existing carpet and tile was installed in 1993 and has a general worn appearance, and whereas the Library Capital Reserve Fund has a current balance of $175,034 as of September 27, 2012, whereas, and whereas the total cost for replacing the carpet and tile is $30,915. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the New Market Town Council does hereby approve the transfer from the Library Capital Reserve Fund for the purpose of purchasing new library flooring at an amount of $30,915. First reading date, November 7, 2012. We don't discuss. Uh, go ahead. I think generally, though, the policy is we don't have discussions. These are just readings. Right. They stay on the table till the next regular meeting. So we can't discuss this at all? You wait until the next meet. Yeah, The that's workshop the is where we would no, discuss. No, no, no. No, the next regular meeting. If you have. have two options. If you want to send us the workshop for a large discussion, you can do it then. Right. If not, there's discussion and debate at the vote at the next business meeting. Councilor Branch. Can't discuss it. I, we can discuss so it now, but the, I, I think the issue would be that if we discuss it now, we, we'll end up spending two meetings discussing it. This right. is for the purpose of trying to streamline, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. Just to streamline it, I yeah. I guess what I would request for the second reading would be since it's over the purchasing policy um, that we have the the bids, mm -hmm. and also the fact that it's already being done. It's kind of a moot point. It's already being done right now. Don't. Oh it's man. Good. That's there. unbelievable. The library has the authority to expend from yeah. their money, from their budget. So they're expending it from their general budget? Until right? such time as it's reimbursed. Yeah. That's technically the, the, yes, they have the right to expend it. They're asking for reimbursement from the capital reserve. They're a loose cannon over there at the library. Can I, I, I have to make one call because that really kind of bothers me. Mm -hmm. Not that they're, they're fixing it, but, <clears throat> you know, we didn't, I have no idea how many um, square feet or square yards they're doing. And I was, I looked at the pictures and I was thinking they should be looking at carpet squares. They are. That's yeah. what's being installed. So they can push pull. Yep. That's yep. what's being installed. And, and there was a company I knew that had closeouts and they could buy them like, it's just a shame. Yeah, that it's we already happening. It. So it's sort of a moot point yeah, right now. But just, just procedurally understand with the library that we only have authority over the number. We don't have authority over what they purchase or how they purchase. If we don't approve this. <laughs> They yeah. basically just have to keep pay for it out of their They have to find budget. a way to do it, yeah. Okay. In the future, so it would be nice. Absolutely, and that's what we, and uh, that was explained to the library as well. It, what I would ask counselors is that if you want to have more robust discussion than a normal, like, 
debate about this. Mm -hmm. Let oh. after we do the readings here, let us know. To, let me and the, and the administrator know, so we'll put it on the agenda for the workshop, so we can have a lot. Like, if we think it's going to be something that's going to be a robust discussion as opposed to a normal discussion around. <laughs> we didn't even know what started. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> <I did. laughs> this is. <laughs> you didn't tell us about it, Nate. <laughs> when did uh, they start? I'm just last week. Um, that would be a conversation for the workshop. Uh, resolution 2012-13-26, placing a question to the voters to establish a charter commission. Whereas the town of Newmarket has adopted its town charter in 1991, and whereas the town last established a charter commission to review and propose revisions to the town charter in 2003, and whereas it is prudent for a municipality to review its town charter from time to time, now therefore let it be resolved that in accordance with New Hampshire RSA 49-B colon 3, the Town Council of Newmarket does hereby place on the 2013 town warrant the following question. Shall a charter commission be established for the purpose of revising the municipal charter or establishing a new municipal charter? This resolution shall become effective upon its passage. First reading November 7th, 2012. <coughs> Again, if anyone wants to discuss that one more at length at the workshop, let us know. Uh, resolution 2012-13-28, relating to the acquisition of Channel 13 web streaming equipment. Whereas the town of Newmarket maintains Channel 13 and its associated web and streaming properties in an effort to keep the residents of Newmarket properly informed, and whereas the general fund does not have an appropriation for Channel 13 equipment replacement, and whereas Channel 13 has begun its live streaming of meetings in an effort to reach more residents that do not have Comcast as their cable provider, and whereas the cost of live, st of li of live streaming encoder is $3,575, and whereas the Cable TV Capital Reserve Fund has a balance of $75,233 as of October 1st, 2012, now, therefore, be it resolved that the Newmarket Town Council does hereby approve a transfer from the Cable TV Capital Reserve Fund not to exceed $3,575 for the purpose of purchasing a live streaming encoder. First reading, November 7th, 2012. Um, read By the Newmarket Town Council, Resolution 2012-2013-33. Appropriation of funds from the Dam Capital Reserve Fund to Wright Pierce for engineering services associated with the McAllen Dam. Whereas on September 17th, 2008, the Newmarket Town Council voted 6 to 0 with one absent, quote, to enter into an agreement with Wright Pierce for the McAllen Dam inspection and engineering services using the Dam CIP as a funding source. And there's no end quote there, there probably should be. And whereas the services to be provided by Wright Pierce is a dam breach analysis and inundation mapping, structure investigation, and conceptual design recommendation, and whereas the Dam Capital Reserve Fund currently has a balance of $47,353, and whereas the town and its consultants have been in negotiations with the New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services, NHDES, regarding the methodology used in the calculation of the 100-year flood flow for purposes of establishing the cost of dam repairs in response to the letter of deficiency dated September 27, 2010, and whereas it has been determined that additional modeling upstream from the dam would accurately predict the amount of flow which would result in lower 100-year flood rate flow at the dam, which should decrease the anticipated cost of improvements at the McAllen Dam, and whereas Wright Pierce has provided a letter proposal dated October 5th, 2012, to provide these additional services relating to this additional modeling, which is estimated at $5,800, and now therefore be it resolved that the New Market Town Council does hereby approve an appropriation not to exceed $6,800 from the Dam Capital Reserve Fund for services to be provided by Wright Pierce for the McAllen Dam Inspection and Engineering Services. This resolution shall become effective upon its passage, first reading November 7th, 2012. I have questions on that, but I will save it for the next <laughs> Also, if anyone at home that is hearing all these, the public hearing for these will be the next meeting, correct? Some, some do not require public hearing, but okay. they can accept comments. So they can always accept comments, so please come next meeting yep. to discuss these if you have an issue. This is also a first reading? Yes, everything's first reading from now on. New Market Town Council Res Resolution 2012-13-29, transferring $56,878 from the school impact fees to the New Market School District for the purpose of buying out the modular building lease. Whereas the New Market School District entered into a three-year lease agreement in the 2010 
for a modular building at the Newmarket Elementary School, and whereas it, was, it is the wish of the Newmarket School District to buy out said lease and take ownership of the modular building at the end of the lease, and whereas the Newmarket School District wishes to withdraw the amount of $58,878 from the town's impact fees collected for school purposes, there is, a curr there is currently $71,731 in said fund. Now, therefore, let it be resolved. The New Market Town Council does hereby transfer the amount of $58,878 from the school impact fee fund to the New Market School District for said purpose. Given at the Town Council Chambers the 7th day of November in the year of our Lord, 2012, Councilor LeBranch. If possible, I'd like to have this for discussion on the, at the workshop. Um, I and I guess the questions that I would be looking for answers on would be, is this a allowed use? Uh, number one and number two how much of that 58,000 will expire uh, I think that's critical because we mm -hmm. obviously don't want to see money just expire on us I'll ask the superintendent to attend the meeting thank you I'd, I'd like also for a workshop meet this one the next one or perhaps the one after that mm -hmm. to discuss the Planning board gave us an alternative to impact fees several months ago and we've started talking about it and we never actually concluded that discussion and I think that it's an important one to have, given mm -hmm. that the management of impact fees is somewhat laborious, intensive. Um, one more, right? Correct. <sighs> By the New Market Town Council, Resolution 2012-13-27, relating to fiscal year 13, 2013 budget transfers, whereas the, New Mar the Town of New Market will overspend its general fund appropriation for the following line items. Do I have to read the account numbers? I might as well. Account number 1402-402-101-444. Account description TA full-time salaries. Anticipated over expenditure $11,920. Account number 01-404-151-000. Employee benefit Medicare. Anticipated over expenditure $13,867. Count number 01-421-202-000, uh, quadruple zero. Channel 13 miscellaneous equipment, $4,657. And whereas the salary amount of the new town administrator caused the town administrator's salary line to go over, and whereas Medicare was under budgeted, and whereas pursuant to RSA 32 colon 10, the town council has authority to quote, transfer to the aforementioned appropriations from an, an expended, unexpended balance remaining in some other appropriation, end quote, and whereas the health insurance line item, account number 01-404-155-0000, will have sufficient unexpect, unexpended appropriations at year end that can be transferred elsewhere. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the New Market Town Council does hereby approve the appropriation transfer of $30,444 from the health insurance line item to the town administrator's salary line item for $11,920, the Medicare line item for $13,867, and the Channel 13 miscellaneous equipment line item for $4,657. Give it the town council chambers, the first reading of the town council chambers, 7th day of November, the year of our Lord, 2012. Two requests. One. The formats of these are different. Some have when have the first reading mm -hmm. in there. Some are. Can we just have standard formats Absolutely. so that the yep. so it's clear as to whether it's a first reading? I would like the first readings not to have the fanciness and like the way some sure. of these do, and the second readings to have the actual document because it's clearer for us, I think, to see which is a first reading, and which is actually a second reading. The other is I love either at the workshop or at the actual to discuss why certain line items were off from the sure. actual budget. You know, that's probably quick enough that we can do at the actual business meeting. You know, if you forego that 30, we'll get the three cents back. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> 11,000 of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's an option. <laughs> <laughs> that's amen. <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, again, if people want to comment on those, on those resolutions, they're on the website, and we'll have a public hearing at the next uh, meeting. Um, the next item... New Hampshire Signature Hazard Mitigation Plan and Emergency Operations they, Plan. Yeah, they, they fall, fell under a letter because before you adopted the previous rules, there were a communication from the Emergency Management Director. Um, she couldn't attend the meeting, so we just put it back underneath the communication from the Emergency Management Director. She is here. This is just that you sign the adopt. You've already, I believe, you already adopted the ha all hazard mitigation plans, and they just need you to sign it. 
at a meet in at a meeting. So we're we're asking you to just sign. It's literally for us to sign a piece of it's paper. Literally it's literally sign it. Oh, we should have moved you, you up sat so here badly. The entire meeting. Oh, in Sorry. case of questions. Do you have any questions about what that is? Maybe yeah. What is it? Yeah, please come up and just. So <laughs> someone on channel thirteen is going to have the question. Come on up. How, You've only got an two hour. minutes. <laughs> One hour. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do have an hour, actually. Go ahead. No, no. Um, I'd also like to have uh, Kyle Pimento come up from Stratford Regional Planning. He's the one that put this together with us. Um, Kyle. Can you actually let everyone channel 13 know your name and position and everything? Sure. This is Kyle Pimento, Stratford Regional Pla Planning, and I'm Candy Jarosh, your Emergency Management Director for New Thank Market. You. This plan is usually updated every five years. And it was done through a grant that Stratford Regional Planning uh, received. So it was at no cost to the town. But it has been updated. Uh, we'll give you a, a quick overview. You've had this for a couple months to just kind of look at. And it has a conditional approval from FEMA already, which is the Federal Emergency Management Agency. So all we need now is your signatures to adopt this plan. This gives us the right to go ahead and ask for grant money. We don't have this plan, then there are restrictions that we cannot apply for grant money. So this is very important to the town, this one and the next one that's coming up, the emergency operation plan. So Kyle has already received the letter. You have a copy of um, the plan on your flash drives, I believe. There will be a copy, it's public knowledge, public information, there will be copies kept at the library and also at the town hall, so any taxpayer would like to see it, and I would like to try and get it onto the website so that people can at least read through it, see what it is. There's not a lot of changes that we can do because it is mandated by RSAs. So Kyle, maybe you can explain a little bit more to them what's involved and what is in the plan. Um, as far as the involvement, we held, I think, what, three meetings? Mm -hmm. um, we had the town planner, chief of police, uh, the road agent. Um, we basically got together a few times, discussed what types of hazards um, are specifically happening to New Market. The biggest ones, obviously, flooding, power outages, things like that. Um, we talked about how we could sort of reduce those risks, what sort of mitigation projects the town would like to do in the future, um, what sort of grants are out there as far as to fund those, um, and basically just getting as much information about what has happened in the last six or seven years since the original plan was adopted and what new market has seen you know the big ones in 2006 and 2007 the flooding um, that hadn't happened in your previous plan so we documented all of that um, any repetitive loss that that the town uh, saw so all of that's in here um, like candy said we'll send this down to FEMA for final approval and then from there you'll be set for another five years and anytime you want to apply for pre-disaster mitigation grants or post-disaster um, you'll be eligible if you don't have this plan in place you're not eligible for those funds so once this gets adopted for final approval from FEMA you'll be all set for the next five years good questions comments This last incident, we have, um, the governor did declare a disaster. He did ask the president for a disaster declaration, which the state did get. So we already have our paperwork in to apply for funding, which would end up being at a cost of 75% would come from the federal government for whatever is approved, 12.5% comes from the state, and the town would pay just 12.5% instead of the 100% 100 of the cost that was incurred. One other thing that I'll, I'll add is that Candy had said that um, there was no cost to the town of Newmarket. And just I want to reiterate, the grant that we got is 75% um, federal funds, and then the other 25% gets made up by either town participation or from the Planning Commission. And what we did was we used soft match from Candy's time, um, the town planner, Diane's, anyone that came to the meetings, printing supplies, we used that as soft match to get to that 5000 So we didn't have to pull from municipal dues from the Planning Commission. So there was no cost to the town to, to get this plan finished. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Councilor Bentley, Vice Chair Bentley. So just were there any other changes other than the, 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 the flood 
We already had one for the ice storms. We already had one for things. There's no other significant. Um, there wasn't any information on power outages and hazardous material threats. So we added those two threats in there as far as um, what's traveling on the trains. I know that that was a concern from the fire department. I don't believe that there's a, there's any procedure in place if there will ever be a spill. Um, so that was something that he was concerned about. So we did add something about the hazardous material threats and the power outages. There wasn't anything specific about power outages and how new markets handle that. So we added those two. Those two new hazards weren't seen in your other, your previous plan. Well, thank you both for your work. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you very much. Um, so what we need for that is, I believe, town administrator has the paperwork to sign, and I will pick it up tomorrow and get it over to Kyle, and we'll get it into the state so that they can do the final approval. Um, the next item is the emergency operation plan which you also have on your flash drives. Um, this is an update, 2011. Uh, we contracted out with uh, Hubbard Consulting to do the plan, and she put together the plan. It has to have the signatures approval from the council, so we can send that up to the state, and they can accept it. And this is another document that needs to be in the state and filed so we can get that disaster assistance. It deals with the everyday operations during a disaster, any type of disaster that we have been able to come up with. This plan will speak of specific disasters, if you'll notice, earthquake, hurricanes, tornado, flooding, explosions, snow and ice storms, power outages. But it also is a plan that can work when we pull it in any incident that might happen. We just adjust it as the incident occurs. But we do have specific things listed in there. And it will go and tell you exactly what the departments that are involved, what their responsibilities are. And that will be available to the public once it's signed. Excellent. Where, how will that be available to the public? Um, I'm going to do the same thing. There will be a copy at the library. There will be a copy at the town hall, probably in the town administrator's office, so people can come in and take a look at it. And also uh, hoping to put that on the website also. Excellent. Pleasure, remember. Kid, kid uh, when you came before us once before, you mentioned about cots, and I remember you came back and we spoke about cots. Did we ever? We never bought them. We no. didn't? We never did. Um, the cost was up there quite a bit. I am also part of the Exeter Regional uh, Shelter Committee. What we've been talking about is doing more of regional sheltering because there are so many um, qualifications and training that is needed now to open up a shelter. We still have the opportunity that we can open a shelter in Newmarket if we need be. And we're trying to get some volunteers and get them trained. But we found that if we have a regional shelter, the care is there and it, there are cots that are available to the regional shelters through the Regional Planning Commission. Right now it takes in 17 communities in Exeter and the surrounding area, and it also has now incorporated Portsmouth, Northampton, Hampton Falls. So we're all working together. So this last storm, there was a shelter opened in Northampton. We only had one call for someone that would like a shelter because their power went out and they were on oxygen. So we did transport them to the Northampton shelter, and it was put out through the website. It was put out well ahead of time that we are going to be using the shelter. So the person that used it had no problem with it. She was brought back when her power came back on. So we find it's more cost effective to do a regional shelter if we can. Now, if, if everything blows up in our face or we have a specific incident here and maybe it is better for us to just shelter here, we will do that because we still have the community center that we use and the school is the backup. Okay. But the community center has the generator that we pull up. Thank you. Any other comments or questions? Okay, thank you, and thank you for your work during Sandy as well. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Um, town Councilor comments? Any opposing comments to any Town Councilors? Uh, Mr. Bentley. Just to, going uh, over last meeting's notes, it said at the next business meeting, uh, like in 5G on the notes, it said we we're going to have a amendment, a motion to um, get rid of the energy committee. <clears throat> so we want to just make sure that's on the next one. Yes. Thank you. Um, and that's a good point. then, um, you know, 
Mr. Minister, I thanked all of all, all of Becky's group and all of us and everything for the work. But we should, you know, thank our town residents. I believe we broke a record for voting, so um, it's great that that many came out and voted. Um, just want to mention that. That's it. Any other comments? Seeing none, uh, I will take a motion to adjourn, but please note that our packets say the next meeting is November 21st. That is incorrect. That would be the day before Thanksgiving. And it, the next meeting is the workshop on the 14th. You actually need a motion to go non-public session if you want to amend the minutes from non-public session. That's right. I'll entertain a motion to go into non-public session. Is it? Is it anything? No. I mean, I, I can... Is well, it we, I mean, let's just all right, let's follow the protocol and, and go to non-public session and get a minute. I'll entertain a motion to go to non-public session. Motion going on public. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? Uh, as long as should, should we, how, how should we reference that, though? Right. Yeah. The same reason why that those those minutes, minutes were rendered non-public. It's regarding uh, RSA 91 a, a, uh, semicolon 3-2. I think it was AC. AC. I think Gary e. just read them off. He did. Reading their minutes. Oh. Yeah, Gary read it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Second. Uh, so here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, discussion? Seeing that, Mr. Minister. Council Wright. Aye. Council Levy? Uh, yes. Council yes. Branch. Aye. Council Zane? Aye. Council Carmichael? Aye. Council Bentley? Aye. Council Nazaro? Aye. Motion passes 7 to 0. Jeff, we are it's not literally two minutes. Nine need to talk anyway.